In this video, we're going to learn how to change our font. Font is what the words or text look like. So I'm going to first type in the word Bell, because that's my last name. So if I would like to change any of the letters or the words within my presentation, I have to highlight it by clicking and dragging my cursor over the letters and words that I want to change. When things are blue, that means that they've been selected. So right here is the font name. You're going to see that there's all sorts of fun names that you can change your text to. Sometimes your teacher might require you to choose a specific font, but for right now, we're going to make our font whatever we'd like. I think this one looks like a nice font, so I'm going to click it and put a check mark next to that font that I've selected. Now I can see that my font style has changed. Now I want to change the size. I can do that by clicking the plus sign to make it go up by one each time or the minus sign to make it go down by one each time. A quicker way is to click one of the suggested sizes by Google or type in your own size in that bar right up there. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to make it bold. This big bold B is how you make your text bold. If you click it, it makes a little yellow shadow around that B, that little yellow square means that it's bold. You can also make your text italic kind of slanted by clicking the slanted eye, that italic eye. Authors do that in text for a number of reasons to make sure that the reader notices that word or reads it in a special way. You can also make your text underlined. This is really helpful when you're making titles or making sure that your words really stand out. We can see that all of them have that light yellow square around them to indicate that they've been selected. You can also change your text color by clicking this underlined A and the color that it's underlined in means that you've selected that color. You can select one of the colors that they have there for you. I like blue. Or if you click on it again, you can see that you can make a custom color by clicking the plus sign. This means you can choose any color on the spectrum and you can change it by making it darker or lighter by going closer to black or closer to white. You can save that color by clicking OK or you can cancel it by clicking cancel. Another thing that you can do to edit your font is to highlight once more, and then you can actually make a permanent highlight onto your text by clicking highlight color. This can make sure that your text really stands out from the other text around it and you can click any color that you'd like. I'm going to choose yellow and I have made my word stand out in the way that I like. You can edit this as many times as you would like and change it up in whatever way you want. Have fun changing fonts!